right now. A man in the hospital with serious injuries to his head and face after after deputies say he was mauled by two pit bulls. That attack happened this morning at a home in Indian Land. And when deputies arrived, they say the dogs attacked them next. Those deputies ended up shooting and killing both dogs. But neighbors tell NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes there is more to this story. And Tanya, they don't believe the dogs deserve to die. We're standing right in front of the yard where this attack happened. You can actually see some of the crime scene tape that is still there in the front yard. Today we learned that the person who was seriously injured in this attack was not the dog's owner, but he had been living there for several months. And people we talked to said they didn't like what they saw. A white shirt in a front yard, the aftermath of a bloody attack that left a man disfigured. The homeowner at this residence called 911 regarding two pit bulls that were attacking a visitor. According to the Union County Sheriff's Office, the visitor knew the dogs. He'd actually been staying at the house for months, but this morning got up around 415 and one of the dogs attacked. The visitor has extensive injuries to his head and face, I am told. I'm told those injuries are very serious. The homeowner tried to intervene, but police say the other dog bit him on the arm. Deputies arrived, tried to use a catch pole, and one of the deputies wound up bitten on the arm. That's when the deputies opened fire, killing both dogs. Those dogs were so sweet, and they didn't deserve that. Graham Linger lives next door. High five. With his own dogs. I could hear everything. Says he's seen this visitor get violent with the dogs in the past. One time I saw him out there with a stick. What so did you see him do with the stick? Swinging at him. And it's happened more than once. He got bit once before. Really? Smacking one of them. It was a matter of time before they snapped. The kid got what he deserved. Plain and simple. You don't have any sympathy? No, not for him. The Union County Sheriff's Office is still investigating what happened. However, they say it is highly unlikely that any charges will be filed in this case. Reporting in Union County, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte.